Okay, we're doing uh, Fall 2012, Exam 1A, Problem Number 2. It's a vector combination problem. So uh, for these kinds of problems, I find that it's often helpful to sketch out the vectors and try to add them graphically first. Not so that you can get an exact answer, but that you have some idea what the answer ought to be. So the first vector, A, has a magnitude of 1.2 miles in a direction 23 degrees west of south. Right. Vector B is 1.7 due south. So there's vector B it has a magnitude of 1.7. And then vector C goes off like this, making an angle of uh, 28 degrees. Right, so that's vector C. It has a magnitude of 2.1, making an angle of 20, 28 degrees south of east. So my resultant vector is going to look like this. I'm expecting it to have a relatively small x component and a relatively large negative y component. So we'll see if that plays out. All right, so the first vector, vector A, is uh, 1.2 miles in a direction 23 degrees south or west of south, like this. Okay, 23 degrees. Now, um, I like to do it, I like to measure all my angles with respect to the horizontal axis whenever possible, so I prefer to measure it like this and split up my triangle into an AX and an AY like, like this. Um, so in that case, AX, uh, which points in the negative direction, is minus 1.2 cosine 67. Or if you want to use the 23, you can call it minus 1.2 sine 23. Either way, it's a negative 0 0.469. Okay. And then the y component also points in the negative direction. So it's negative 1.2 sine 67, or if you would prefer, it's negative 1.2 cosine 23. Either way, it's minus 1.105. There's my x and y components. The B vector, the second vector, points due south, like this. Okay, and so the magnitude, the x, magnitude of the x component, well, the x component is just zero, and the y component points in the minus y direction, and it's minus 1.7. Okay, looking at the C vector now, okay, it goes over like this and it makes an angle of 28 degrees below the horizontal, or I guess south of east, if you want to put it that way. So CX is here, and that's uh, 2.1 times the cosine of 28. It's positive, right? But then CY is negative. So CX is positive 1.854, CY is negative 2.1, sine 28 or minus 0 0.986. Okay, so now we've got our x and y components for each of our three vectors. The next step is to add those components into the resultant. So the x component of the resultant is going to be minus 0 0.469 plus 0 plus 1.854 which is 1.385 the y component of the resultant is minus 1.105 minus 1.7 minus 0 0.986 which works out to be minus 3.791 so as as I hoped the uh, x component is relatively small and positive and the y component is relatively large and negative so that matches up with my initial diagram now I need to convert these into a magnitude and a direction, so I'm going to draw one last triangle here. The x component of my resultant here is 1.385, and the y component is 3.791. Now I've made that positive because it points down. I'm just making a triangle here. Okay, it's a right triangle. There's R. And there's the theta that we're looking for. All right, so to find the value of the resultant, I use uh, the Pythagorean theorem. All right, 
which uh, works out to be, if I round off, that works out to be 4.0 miles. Uh, and then to find the angle theta, theta is the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, which is 3.791 over 1.385. Notice that I'm using positive values for both numbers inside the tangent. That's because I'm just trying to find theta. If you make one of these a negative, like if you put negative 3.791 over 1.385, then theta is going to be a negative angle. And sometimes that'll be right and sometimes that'll be wrong. Uh, I rather just make all this positive and then my, my diagram tells me the direction. So uh, if I round off, I get 70 degrees south of east, right? Because this direction is east and then we're going south of east, right? So there's the magnitude and direction of my resultant.